Who the fuck said they better than me? Uh -huh. Say it to my face, that ain't what it's gon' be. That ain't what it is. Who the, who the, who the fuck said I'm better than y'all? Same nigga on this motherfucking mic, dog. That's me. Who the fuck said they better than me? Say it to my face, that ain't what it's gon' be. Who the, who the, who the fuck said I'm better than y'all? Same nigga on this motherfucking mic, dog. That's me. Who the fuck said they better Kim.com because I am and you're watching kimchi TV and this is all on mr. R D R A bang nigga welcome to the world people <laughs> it's been a crazy crazy weekend crazy isn't good but it even continued till Tuesday so you know stuff was a little little shaky you know what I'm saying I got uh my dinner plate is full right now. Like, they're so heavy as the head that wears a crown. No bullshit, nigga. My shoulders is like, hey, I got this idea. You want to go on over there? I got this idea. You want to go on over I got this idea. You know what's even worse than niggas with ideas? Niggas trying to throw money on your ideas and think that that can make you make moves. Look it. Hold on. I do what I want to do. Period. That's the, We're going to just throw that in the box of generals. Okay? I'm looking to make sure my phone got some juice in there. Shit, hold on. It says good. I believe it. So we're going to actually get the shout outs out the way. Maybe play one more time a uh, song. What the ball horn? And then we're going to get into some other shit, man. You know what I'm saying? We actually have a guest calling in today. Boogeyman. AZ Zone. He's going to call in. We got some things to talk about because I had mentioned him in a, a video I just did, the boogie in my ice in my Rocky Road. I mentioned him. Initially, that video was strictly for Rocky. <laughs> Say something, I'm giving up on you. Rocky? Nigga, no. Just crawl in the corner in the hidden house and just shut up. You used to rap. Put that on your resume, Rock. You used to rap. But Super Side Chick, I was, that video was aimed and adrenaline-based for Rocky. Okay, now me and Boog wasn't, we were first friends on the book, and then I did my Father's Day rant video. If y'all subscribe to my channel, MrIDIA.com, bang, or YouTube, either one. I did a Father's Day rant. Initially, that ammo was for my son's mother. Let's say Tracy Yules. It was for her. She was giving my, at the time, three-year-old son Mountain Dew. And then she had recently told me, like in a bragging way, that, oh, that's why I'm going to go up there to this Boogeyman concert. I got two tickets and shit. So I was already like, fuck. Listen to in context. I was already then like, fuck Boogeyman. What are you talking about you got two of his tickets? What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about my kids and Mountain Dew you're putting in their teeth, bitch. And you talking about a show? Come on. So, Boog got a little of the flame right there. And at the time, he had dropped the Who You Giving Neck, the Bob video. I played it in that video. You know what I'm saying? And I had never really paid attention to Boog's music like that. And not even in a negative meaning to this way. I just wasn't. So, if me, that being the first music that I heard from him, I was like, what the fuck? You know, to each they own. But me personally, I was like, what the fuck? Okay, and then... Yo, and then that fireball was bombed. It's a combination of things. I am not excusing myself, but I'm giving you a layout of events. So in case you try to, in case people out there try to talk shit and put shit in Boog's ear, or talk shit and put shit in my ear, you know what I'm saying? Just know that I'm laying out the chain of events, just like Boog called me. He called me right after the video dropped, actually. You know what I'm saying? So much respect to you, sir, for do, uh, coming at me like a man when them other hidden house bitches didn't, okay? So much respect to you. 
Because I would never disrespect you as a man. That's not it. Like I said, we may have our disagreements on music, but you seem to be an awesome cat on the phone. Like, for real. I just said awesome. You seem to be an awesome cat. So your photography skills is on point. You know what I'm saying? So there's maybe a lot of other ventures we can get into. So I'm going to go ahead and publicly say I apologize for throwing Boog in the fire twice. Now, mind you, the second time I had read a post, I think I re misread it. And I have no problem eating crow. I eat crow to grow. So, I want to... Hold on, excuse me. Shout out to Black Knight. Bang. Shout out to Elbow. Bang. Fool Nelson. <clears throat> we'll get the rest of that shout outs in the way. Y'all see me? I was working today. Oh, P.S. We can print up all your dope ass shit on uh, Best Contract Printing. Holla at me or Jerome Pride on Facebook. He was the owner of Best Contract Printing. Killing them. We print up all V the Ruler's stuff. At least a lot of it I heard. And uh, then we uh, print up the 85 Fresh. 82 Cool. We print up all that too. So come through, man. Local labels, industry, business. We prefer big accounts, but we, we don't discriminate. Will loves small businesses, entrepreneurs, all the above. So that's a super side chick in all this to say... That I can get that done. Hold on. It's a super side chick to say we can get that done. So anyway, like I said, I book got two of the fires. Now, mind you, I misread the post. I have no problem eating crow to grow. You know what I'm saying? The man felt I disrespected him on a personal level. I had to hear him out. I thought it was just musically, but he felt it was personally. You know, there was a few, I guess you can say jabs taken when I said... You know what I'm saying? Uh, ex uh, exposing the messages that were sent and whatnot. So, you know, I was, I was taking some jabs. But long story short, I felt the same way that he felt at that moment when he dropped personal messages on me. You feel me? So, it's a lack of communication is what it is. We were communicating through a third party source. And I misread it wrong. It could have been misinterpreted wrong. It could have been even said wrong. It's a lot of choices in there, right? So, we have each other's number now. Like I said, I have no issue with you. I'm going to have you on the show. I'd like to have you say your piece. Say whatever you like. And, uh, and I'm going to sit here and I'm going to listen. And I'm going to understand where you're coming from. You know what I'm saying? Not Boog, but everybody out there on this bullshit <laughs> Talking about I'm a hater and just talking shit. And that's what people think my whole show is. It's just talking shit. You feel me? How retarded is that? That just lets me know that they're going off of third party information. They're like, oh, I want to hear you rant. I love it when you rant. I, I hate when people say that. How about that? Because this can be considered a rant. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I talk. I can verbally use a lot of cuss words, fucks, bitches, this motherfucker. Bang. Bang. All those. But if I put poignant pieces of information in there, what else you got to do but absorb it? I'm opening up your chakras to absorb it. You got to understand your audience sometimes. Bitch! <laughs> you see? Didn't that hit home? Yard boy! If somebody finds Rocky Tirade's notepad and a pencil or a pen, give it to that man and tell him fight back! You do not deserve to be on Sway in the Tech claiming you a battle rapper. Nigga, no. We're going to get off of that. Like I said, I posted... I, I won't get my video monetized if I post the song I want to play. But it's on my page. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Rocky. No. So that's a dead issue with that dude. Nick Norris pleading his case in my inbox. And that's some for real shit. Not like even joking on how I may have said that Book did that. This is totally different. This is like a for real. These niggas was threatening my life. Okay. Pistol whipping me. Want to say they want to uh, kick my teeth in. Rocky said some slick shit. Then tried to not admit that he said it. The fucking bartender from Hidden House called him out on, on it. People see this stuff, Rock. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and talk about how my motherfucking punk ass Tracy Yules bombed a message that I sent to, to her about the situation with me and Book. She tried to put me on blast and either put it on his page or all I know is that he heard it 
and or saw it and she's like oh I just told him that you're a non-factor and don't even worry about it he's crazy and, and all the dumb shit that jaded bitches say right she's just not a believer that's why she's not next to the side of me and can pull the lever she ain't in control she thought that she was the lead singer in the group bitch no you're not I am Kamani Kim you are his son's mom you were never married to me you got skipped married you married layover okay bitch I, I, I will continuously air you out until you stop fucking punishing my son you are punishing him without him knowing you are giving him fucking caffeine at night and then getting mad at him because he won't go to sleep what kind of fucking sense does that make you dumbass Somebody please tag Tracy Yules with some statistical information so she will know it's not just coming from a jaded dad. She thinks, I've, yo, this bitch is retarded. Yo, so whatever. She tried to leak my messages to Boog. I, I ripped her a new one. I already woosawed her. I'm going to play that because I don't know if you've heard that, Boog, but I'm going to play that because this bitch is bugging, okay? So whatever. I may have let her throw some Kindles in that fire when I was like, but I didn't say nothing, but I don't like that song. So for all those five to six people who told Boog that I was talking shit about him, make sure that you go rewatch that video and listen. Okay? Big difference. The person who I felt out of that video that I, I was a little bit the worst on was Dizo. And he called me up and said, I respect that, man. I fucking... Feel that. If, if somebody did that to me, I would be in the same position. Look, I don't lie, folks. I don't lie. I don't intentionally and maliciously do shit to hurt people, okay? Unless they hurt me first, then I go full bore to the core. And right now, it's looking like I started this shit. These niggas started this shit, okay? And Boog was, you know, he was talking about how... He's cool with Nick Norris, and you got to respect Nick Norris for setting a flagship and all this other shit. I said, Book, hold on. I didn't say this, but I was in my mind. I'm like, fuck that. They talked about my life, sir. I just spoke on your music. Please do not co-sign them. So, you know what I'm saying? We had a, yo, it was like, it was about a seven on the gauge of ten, because it, it was about to, he, he called up and pissed. Deservingly so. Like I said, man, I didn't know. I honestly thought that you was like, I heard you've been talking about me. And I hadn't mentioned you since Father's Day. I was honestly like, well, does he just want me to talk about him? That's what I'm saying. Like, shit is miscommunication. We all have each other's number now. So hopefully we'll be cool. I like to hear your side of things. I've heard it. But just to let these people know that we're cool so they can't try to come at both of us on no fucking hyping up some street shit. You feel me? Like, yo, I'm about to do great things for this state as a whole. Like, yo, just let it happen. Not you, but just let it happen. For real, man. Like, this is divine. I fucking am trying. Not even trying. I am grinding. Hard. Hard body breaks. We'll get into some check-ins after I fucking ether this bitch Tracy Yules real fucking quick. And like I said in my post, she's never getting nothing. She fucked all that up like on some... Oh, let me just look out because she's my son's mom, regardless if we're not together and hadn't been together. Like, she still has my son. Let me. No, if we want to be for real, we can dead all that. Uh, I'm a deadbeat talk. My son gets $300, close to $300 a month, every month, child support. She can call it whatever she wants. That's what it is. Those are facts. I will pull out fucking bank statements that show that she gets this shit. It's on my behalf. But it wouldn't even be half if it wasn't for me. You feel me? So don't try to go out there and spread no rumors, you dumbass bitch. You're in the wrong. And you're jealous because I'm fucking beaming right now. And I'm loving my baby. Hi, baby. And you feel me. You feel me, Boog. You're a married man. You have respect for your wife. So if you felt somebody was disrespecting her, you would probably go zero to 100, nigga, real quick. Before even, like, the facts is secondary. Oh, what? What happened? So that's all I was. And then, like I said, I didn't go on the video and say anything reckless. I didn't. I didn't. So I would never threaten your life. Like, you threatened to beat me up online, though. Like, I wouldn't do that. That's not me. But I don't. But whatever. 
If that's how you felt. You was that mad. So I can appreciate that anger at that moment. But to publicly put it out there, though, that's a little bogus. But I had mentioned that. It's like, whatever. We, we are going to be on good ground from now on. So let me play this song for this bitch. Give some shout outs. And then we're going to take a call from Boog. How about that? I did the whole chain of events wrong. I said the song, Kamani, the motherfucking song. Actually, we'll play two. Let's start it off. Rocky Tirade! Say something, I'm giving up on you. Yo, if they didn't play that at the shop today, I was still screaming. If they didn't play that about five times in an hour today, it wouldn't even came to my attention. Hey, super side chick, V the ruler. Check your inbox in about a day and a half. I got your next single, single. Like, single? <laughs> Big radio shit? Hey, and just a heads up. Producers don't cover clearance. That's a lotted amount of money that the label has set aside for your project. So please don't pull a greenhouse and say that it's my job to clear samples. Okay, I maybe have should have said that the sample wasn't cleared and not even maybe you didn't ask. We're not going to bring that up, but please, please V. I hope you, you know that you on your shit, but I got a hit, hit, hit for you. I didn't even made it. I may even do a video of me making the V the ruler beat, but I got to send it to you first. So in case another nigga try to bite the actual idea before I chew it, you feel me? Niggas is in my mouth like, what you eating? What you eating? Can I get some? <laughs> no, nigga. Rocky Tyrade! Aw, oh, shit. Look what this nigga That's done did opinion. now. They hiding in the house. It's not the hidden house. Went back and forth in my head. If I should waste ink or letters, just Jake this man's life away. Put Jake way he's dead, not literally. Where's the fun in that? This rap history. All the backpack persona is starting to fade. You call me a barber, put your five points. I smoke you quicker than five joints. You tried to play me like Mega Sega games. Shit, I spit flames. This way supreme. Where the visual representation of the obvious. I never claim king, but they call me that. How I'm supposed to react. And matter of fact, fuck, fact 135. Nick Norris ain't live. You and Hayward tried to threaten my life What's Yet you asked for a ride Fuck your life in your couch You need to talk it out I guarantee we cross paths I spit in your mouth I'm foul like that Stay the proof bipolar No need to get a business card Shit I'm taking over Look all the controversy and shit Controversy and shit Controversy and shit Controversy and shit I roasted you your business Charge more at the entrance See the fucking shit I did in a minute Look at the controversy And crazy cars Just hitting up walls Leave you ass laid out Like some female dog Get it I'm five inches from midget, yet I spit it how I live it, that's large Rap circles run your ass, you ain't as nice as me, Paul Nah, put you on that rocky road, leave a light-skinned dude Jumping like a light-skinned dude, I grant you life in this hill I still fucked your ass up, you probably took the wrong pill If you kneel, I'm the oracle, you need confirmation first to understand your dreams are the worst And it hurts, it hurts, uh, rock I'm the worst, like Drake said, not from ATL, but I'll bang this nigga's head Your afro look like Cujo's, bro What's up? Heard that line before, need a lineup. So your memory rap was hella whack on the wake up show. Pass me the no dose. <laughs> Yo, this song saved a fucking case for me and a busted face for you. I don't care, man, woman, or not. I'll fight a man. Hello. But you play with my kids, I'll fight anyone. Yo, I'm gonna fucking kill this bitch, son. I'm gonna fucking kill this bitch. Okay, sir, calm down. Yo, this bitch, my pants go to the room. Like, what you fucking niggas for? I said, it's really after popping bitches, though. Nope. Oh my god, fuck you, Tracy. For real. 
motherfucker. I'm not even gonna make you famous like Kim made Kim famous. Fuck you. You're dead after this day. Take it out on this mic, you're up and not really. The way that Max Mom got me feeling just like killing a slice. Grab the sharpest knife to the right, super precise with my hands. I gotta get these demons out one way or another. I know she understands, so for the record, no, these not my future plans, but goddamn, why don't you push them, man? Quite sure you'll really understand, right? I use this booth as an outlet before you get your mouth hit. Air driver's side door stuck, truck around shit. Using Max as a pawn, that's type of shit she wants. Well, hush for a good goddamn long time. All my fellas can feel that if they've been in a relationship that's dissolved and they're using your kids as a pawn. This is your answer, my nigga. Every man that has a kid outside of wedlock is a fucking crazy bitch. Well, I should get on the remix. I got married and bossed up. You had your chance but didn't know your role. Acting like you the star. Bitch, you come back up before. So it's all a go, yo. Skip me with that bullshit. Blue skip me. Hit you with that real shit. Fuck P.S. The class is in session. No more reason. You fucking ain't even get my best. And I do that shit. Stop fucking with me, Tracy. You better learn your role. You are a has-been now. Just like Rocky Tyrae, DJ Fat135, and Chuck Norris. Who called me like, bro, we need to just end this shit. Just, well, I'm trying to resolve this. No, you're trying to start it. How about you should just hit me in my inbox before you try to blast me? Bang. We're gonna play Yes Sir by Boogeyman featuring a player, The Doc. I've never heard this. Got anything else to say? But regardless of the situation, you're gonna leave now. Live that hood life. 
y'all. I've never heard that. That kind of ride, it kind of ride. It kind of ride. I like that part he said. It ain't even fair, so let me, so let me bust in a real hair. Bang, perfect timing, sir. Bug's a professional, look. Which side do I want to put the phone on? Kimchi TV, who this be? Is this Boogie Man I see? Yeah, man, what's happening? What's the deal, sir? How are you? How are you, sir? Oh, shit! Fuck! Oh, the fucking phone died. Oh, shit. Where's handset two? Fucking Boog. Hold on, Boog. I got you. Hold on. Well, let's play some music. I'm going to have you call from a different number. My fault, sir. Holy fuck balls. Let's play some trap. Imagine Mike Brown tribute. Hold on. Shit. My fault, Boog. I don't know if my phone had died or if I'm running out of juice, but you with me? Yes, sir. I can definitely hear you. That's my fault. I was running around like a chicken sweating with his head gone because I was about to have you call this other line, but glad you're with me. I have juice. So, how are things, sir? I know we started off on a rocky road, but how are things? Uh, I'm good. I'm, I'm headed to uh, America Theater right now to go have this meeting. Oh. continue about that Arizona Hip Hop Festival. Hey, man, that, that festival's getting played like no other, sir. That that looks like it's the place to be on that day, for real. Oh, uh, yeah. You're part of Arizona Hip Hop, period. No matter if you're a, if you're a hip hop artist or you, or you love the music or you uh, be just involved in the culture from the clothing to painting such as yourself like all of that it, that's the that's the place that you need to be to get sweet out and, and network is the not network is second on the list seeing a dope ass show should be first on y'all's list that go are you performing sir or are you just organizing nah we per, i'm performing and i'm helping sick organize it. We, we going yeah we're going in on this one good shit well i just played that yes sir are you happening doing that that night uh, no, man, that's a, that's one of them old ones off my old uh, mixtape, Fuel for the Fire. So I, uh, oh, so so the uh, Say Hello to the Bad Guy some new shit. Yeah, Say Hello to the Bad Guy the album. Word, word. Good stuff, man. Well, I see you active and moving. I did go and see one show at uh, the Respect the Underground and seen you do your thing up there, man. It's always some, some good flicks and good footage, man, and the crowd enjoys you, bro. Much respect to that. Yeah, I appreciate it. I've been trying to... I just try to do what I got to do, man. Get put my energy out there. I always have fun when I'm on the stage. Exactly. And on book two, man, I see you and Trap get into them meme wars, man. Them shits be dying funny a lot of the time, bro. Good shit. Uh, that, that's just him trying to be funny. <laughs> trying to show him that I'm funnier than him. Yeah. I actually just played that Mike Brown tribute that you shared on your uh, SoundCloud. I was on there playing a couple of your jams, man, and... uh that song go, man. I, I'll give props in the same breath to Trap for that song. That shit go right there. I've shared that myself. So yeah, he, 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 like people don't understand. Like, when we be we be joking and we do a whole bunch of shit that there's there's ways that that people pay attention to you. We understand that everybody's not gonna be focused in on the music, but we also socially conscious. Exactly. Men, me and Trap will be on the phone for like an hour, two hours talking about stuff that we can do to actually change things. And there's a lot of people that say stuff and then there's people that do stuff and we we've been doing stuff for a long time with a, a lot of different damn people and it those are things that we don't broadcast and put out there because if it's number one we already do that when it comes to like self-promotion and all that other stuff so it, it would just seem ungenuine and more self-promotion for somebody to say hey we doing this and we out here and we doing that so i'd rather just let my work speak for itself and when and people know what goes on when we doing it, so that's all that that's all that needs to be understood. Exactly. Like I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna put on camera every time I give a homeless man five dollars. That it don't make no damn sense. I hear you. I hear you. It's the it's. I have this line that says, 
separate the talks from the walks, man. You got to do it. You got to be a walker. I need a walker because my back's fucked up. Side note, but yeah, people got to walk out here. And I think that's, I think that's one of the main things is that a lot of people out here in Arizona aren't on their business. And I salute to all the people that are. And if you are on your business and you take it serious, then then you're a respected member in this community. Period. You feel me? Uh, yeah, only only really fuck with people that that are about their business. Like there's some people out here that I don't like personally, but business wise, it makes sense to do what you do. Like you never gonna get along with everybody, bro. It's not it's not gonna happen. Exactly. Again, somebody's gonna rub you wrong. It's, that's just the way the hell is gonna happen. At the end of the day, if you talk it out like adults or you know. Where the separation lies, then you can you can you can maneuver go through ahead it with that relationship accordingly. And I know I don't like you, and you don't like me. But when we out on business, we do good things. And hey, when we out on business, we do good things. Like you're just not gonna be sitting at my dinner table at the end of the night. It, oh, that's a good analogy. You damn right, sir. And that leads me into a good point because briefly before you called, I explained a little bit of the uh, situations that were going on yesterday and or. Uh, you know, the Father's Day rant when I mentioned you and I said my point and just like you mentioned, you called me like a man yesterday and I told him this nigga was mad. You were mad and you were rightfully to be mad. Again, I had called you out at, supposedly out of the blue and then you, you got mad. I'm glad we talked it out and we came to an agreement, but I want to go ahead again one more time while you're here and publicly say I apologize if you felt I came at you in a personal manner. I didn't mean to if that was the case, but I thought that you were indirectly or directly speaking about my wife. So just like you being a married man, I hope you'd understand, you know, how I felt. So we, we talked that out and you explained your side. And like I said, I'm, I'm glad that we can come to this conclusion because this never happened with the other situation I'm dealing with. And a lot of shit is snowballing. And I mentioned uh, I just I just I just want to let the people know that that. We spoke, and I said my piece, and I even recanted. You know what I'm saying? I'll eat some crow. I have no problem eating crow to grow. And you're a person that I can see doing business with in the future, so let's go ahead and hash this out. And I'll just let you say whatever you got to say about those situations, and then we can talk about some more good shit coming up in the future for you and the state. So whatever you got to say, it's open to you, sir. Okay. Well, as far as, as, far as uh, the situation that we had, like, like I told you before, I just seen like a whole bunch of things that just trickled up. That just trickled up to that from from right. the post where it was like, hey, this is it was about your baby mama. It didn't really have nothing to do with me, but it involved me. And then it snowballed to that, and I got messages and text messages like, have you seen the video? Like he going, like he going in. I didn't care that you didn't like my song. Like that didn't matter. The point was like, why is he going out of his way to make a video? And, and to talk about me, and I don't I don't even know this dude. Right. That was that was my whole thing. Like I don't expect anybody. There's some there's some people that you know what? There's some people that didn't listen to my music until they heard Bob. To be honest, and if you listen, and if you listen to Bob, I know you don't like that record in particular. But I, I, at first I didn't like it, but now I like it the most. Number one, <laughs> because <laughs> it, it was four people that really didn't like my music, and I was and and in the video it explains that like you don't fuck with my music, but your girl do. So she vibes to my music, who she really gives a neck to. And if you're a hip hop artist, you already know what metaphors and symbols exactly and all and, and, it, and it has all of that in there. Like it, my cousin was like, I thought she was gonna be talking about some sexual shit, but she really paid attention and she was like, it wasn't like that. And then I got my sister saying, nah, that's a nasty song. I'm like, no, it's not. It's not a nasty. Hey, art is how people interpret it. All you right. do is just throw it out on the canvas. You feel me? So yeah, as far as so as far as so far as that went, that 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 was my whole thing. Like, why is this dude going out of his way to go through? And not only that, I just heard like everybody in my team. I'm like, damn, Justice, uh, Wendy, Blaze, like what? The, what the fuck is going on? So that so that like that already turned me off. I didn't even want to get to know who you were or what your side was because I felt like. You personally went out of your way to throw me into something that I had no idea what was going on. That's Other than that, like after we talked and you explained your side, and as far as like your wife and all that, like I'm not. First of all, I'm not a dude that's going to say indirect things to people. I'm right. going to say things directly, and and everybody who knows me or knows of me for the most part knows that that's that's going to happen. I go everywhere I go by myself or with my wife. Like I'm not one of them. Things. I'm not gonna 
sit here and say I'm a southern nigga. I'm, but I, I'm old school. I was raised by my grandfather. Exactly. And my grandfather always told me principles, to morals. And exactly. Probably, and that's what I'm gonna be. Exactly. And I and I hear you on that. And but you know, if I can briefly explain, because sometimes I don't even get it on how my mind works. Topics pop up, and I have to. I just purge. Sometimes that no filter that on my brain. It, it gets me into situations to where people get offended. So, like I said, I'll eat some crow to grow, but I, I see where you're coming from, from your side of it, and you're hearing it from three or four different angles about somebody talking about you. That's why I was like, did you see the video? I just want to make sure you saw it, just because I wasn't like, I wasn't intentionally going out of my way. It just happened that everything just was a, a horrible collide of events at that time. Oh, she was trying to put me on blast and brag that she going to see you, and I'm like, Damn, this fits right into the song this nigga talking about that's popping at the time. You know what? And like I said, you got the, the fire on there. So my fault. My fault for that. But I wasn't, like I said, it was more or less a musical thing. I never went to be personal. You know what? And I and I misconstrued you talking about my wife on some personal tip. And it wasn't nothing near that situation. So like I said, that's why I'm glad we have each other's numbers. It probably should have been, we probably should have met a long time ago on some cool shit. But now that we do, hopefully it'll be that from here, you know? Yeah, man, it, you know, it always happens. There's, there's plenty of relationships that I've had that I do have with people that started off on something of a similar foot. I think it probably got a little bit more physical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did threaten to uh, give me a fade, nigga. You did tell me that I need, you're going to give me a fade and I'm bald. And I was just trying to be funny too. You were you're a comedy guy. You not in that way, but you know what I'm saying. Like Yeah, I knew, yeah. I knew you was I knew you were trying to be funny. Like yeah. at first I was like, <laughs> okay, this dude this dude is trying to be funny, but right now I'm not laughing. Oh, okay, like, yeah. <laughs> I hear you. I knew I knew you I knew you was trying to be funny. But in the beginning, like this is what I see. Like I'm I'm talking I talk to your PR, your PR girl who's also my home girl. Shout out to like, Elbow yeah, Bang. Full respect. So then I um I talk to her. I explain what's going on. Okay, bam. I get a text message like, okay, he says he respects you as an artist too. Da da da. Okay, bam. Next thing I know, I'm on my Facebook and then I'm seeing a whole. I'm like, okay. Right. And I'm uh, yeah. talking about my wife. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And then I see you uh, hear some shine. Bye bye. Me. I was like, oh. So he's like, oh. first yeah. I went and I looked at my I looked at my post and I was like, what the hell? What the hell is he going? to what is he thinking that I'm talking about? So I didn't even see any of that. Yeah. Then you showed me that it was somebody that <laughs> that sent you a screenshot of some shit that, that, first of all, they took out of context because it was only speaking on the video and the rant because that whole, that whole thread was about a video that you made of him. So my comment was about about the video that you made of me and you not liking my song and your baby mama buying tickets to my show. Bob and then still she bob to my music when she gets it. So it's, it was still. It was hey, she's still a whore. Like, she does that. Time. But go ahead. <laughs> I'm, I'm not like I'm not a, when I when I think I'm I'm like a, a a deep thinking dude for the most part. I say some shallow shit, but most of the time I'm I'm real thoughtful and I, I'll never disrespect another man's woman, no matter how much I hate that dude, because. If anybody disrespect my wife, I don't give a fuck who it is. They getting, they gonna get the business. That's right, that's right. How it goes. And that's they like, get, go ahead, go ahead. So, so that's not, that's not the kind of dude I am. And, and never in the history of my post of anybody seeing my, have I been talking about, have I went in on somebody's girl and personally attacked people? Like that's not what I do. Now, if you send me some, if if somebody was sending me some inbox messages and they and they saying some nasty shit or they doing something and then they gonna try to lie on me, then I'm gonna put that shit out. But I'm never going to go on attack on another man's woman because that's not that's not who I am. Like if I'm going to attack a dude, I'm, it's just going to be him. If she wants to get into it, then I got sisters. <laughs> like it's not it's not. I don't have to do anything to to attack a, a woman. That that doesn't make me a man. Period. I hear like you. That, that's some that's some that's some stupid shit. You go, your girl gonna ride for you. So why the hell would I expect her not to? So I'm a, so that she's not my friend. So why would I say, hey, why is she attacking me? Oh, is she attacking me because you don't like her dude, and now she don't like you? It's, it's just like if somebody shot at your brother, it's like they shot at you. Yeah. So I, I understand that when that when that stuff happens. So I would never attack anybody's woman at all. Like it don't make sense. Like if I'm mad at your girl, I'm gonna just beat her fucking boyfriend up. Or if I can't beat her, <laughs> we gonna get into a scrap. Something gonna give. Like the world, but. <laughs> 
Something got to give. Somebody got to get it. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. Hey, Boog, you got another uh, 10 minutes you can stick with me so we can pump the new shit you got coming up, man? Oh, yeah, man. I'm driving. I'm on 91st Avenue in Grand right now. Hey, you know, I like to call that uh, surprise. You're in Los Angeles. <laughs> Yeah. Lower Los Angeles, that shit is so far, my nigga. My wife lived in Surprise. That shit's far. Yeah, it's super far. Right now. And that's why when, whenever I leave, like unless I'm making money <laughs> or if it's like something that I needed like super support, I'm not going anywhere, bro. That shit costs a lot of money. I got seven. Oh, years. that's where you at. That's where you at. Damn, that's far, bro. Whoa, whoa. I thought that's where you were just visiting or chilling. Whoa, that's far, that's my nigga. Where I live. Yeah, that's okay. I understand now. Yeah, so it better be worth it. <laughs> yeah, it's going it's going to it's definitely going to have to be worth it cuz I got seven kids and and money stretches. Like people see me doing a whole bunch of shit and obviously I'm making money, but that doesn't mean that I'm I'm first of all, I'm not balling and I'm never going to say that. If you heard any of my music and listen like no. I don't, I don't speak, I don't speak like that. And if I mention money or something, it's, it's metaphorically. Exactly. It's always or it's or it's something like I'm I'm building on it. But I'm not going to say that I'm on a jet. I'm not going to say that I'm in a limo. I'm not going to say that there's a whole bunch of bitches on my team. If there's nothing like that, that's that's stupid shit to me. Exactly. Other, other, you got to have artistic integrity. For, but for me, it's not going to work for it because my music is always going to be who I am. Now, I might make some shit that people don't like from time to time, which I don't care about, but it's always encompassing who I am. Like, I, I'm socially conscious. But I'm funny. I'm like I'm a, I'm a street nigga. I've been to the military. I'm educated at the same time. Exactly. I mean, just who I am. So my music is who I am, regardless of anything. So you're never gonna hear me say a whole bunch of stupid shit that doesn't pertain to my life. Like it, that's just not what I do. I hear you. Well, we're gonna come right back with Boogie Man and talk about uh, say hello to the bad guy and this super show on October fifteenth. Hold on, hold on. Sixteenth. Give me a second, folks. We'll be right back. They better than me. Say it to my face. Say what it's going to be. Who the, who the, who the fuck said I'm better than y'all? Say nigga on this motherfucker. No, you don't. We'll be back. Oh, shit. Say it better than me. Say it to my face. Say what it's going to be. 